Happy Thanksgiving to all my fellow Canadians. I hope you're all having a wonderful and safe weekend. And to my American friends, don't worry, don't worry. Yours will come in a few weeks. You'll get there. It'll be Turkey Day, just like we're having today. I wanted to take you along on an exciting story. Something that's happening right now and just recently over the last week. A new project, an exciting new project, a first for me, and that is my very first boat. That is my own boat. And here you can see Dad and I are picking it up, sort of, uh, not exactly abandoned. The title might be a little, little bit catchphrasey, but we are getting a boat that has been uh, moved hands a couple times, but this is just a smoking deal and the perfect haul for what I've had in mind for a few years now, a dream of mine. And we're gonna be getting at it slowly, but we're gonna be getting at it. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Hit that like button and enjoy the rest of the video. You'll notice that we're taking this boat off of blocks. That's because it doesn't come with a trailer. And the trailer we're using right here now is Boro. The right boat, the right deal, just the right deal. Finally came along and uh, I have basically my dream boat haul here to start this project with. This is a sea serpent made pretty locally here within about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes away from me in Kings Point, Newfoundland. It's the haul that my brother has. My dad has a sea serpent haul, a little older model, different style, but this is the identical haul to what my brother has, and it's a, it's a deep V. It's a really good rough water boat, good big water boat, very deep, great for kids, and it's just beautiful. And pretty much just a blank slate here right now, just bare bones. I don't have a trailer with it. We've got a broken down motor, but let's cover all that now. Now this package, just as you see it here, belonged to an old fisherman who didn't put much use on this boat before he passed away. And it sat in storage for the last 10 years or so until it shifted hands this year and then ended up with me. I bought the boat and motor in as-is condition. I'm told the engine has a gear case issue. There's something going on, it's not driving the boat. So we'll have to deal with that. For now, we're just working on cleaning up that boat. We're removing those fishing, fishermen identification numbers. We're gonna clean everything up so we can start with a truly blank slate, nice and clean. Now, although this boat really didn't get to do much of it, the owner, the fisherman, bought it to fish with. So he made something that's traditional here in Newfoundland and notice these strips along the tots here. That's to hold in all these individual boards that I'm adding. And so those create covers and the tots, the section between the tots become storage ah, sections okay. for your squid or your codfish or whatever. You can fill them up and Take cover them, them in. Not a bit wouldn't take them out. Now, ready? Got the gas pressure washer here, so a lot more pressure than mine, courtesy of Dad. It's Dad's washer, so uh, gonna see if we can get as much of that scum off as possible. Oh, don't go dousing the chickens with that, you rascal. Oh. Looks, like, looks like Pop better all filled with soap and everything for us. Where's our switch? Right there. Okay, come away from there now. Choke. Okay, gas is on. Choke it out.
Oh, that looks so much better. We took so much age off. We still have some staining on the bottom, but all that scaly junk is gone. We'll try to address the staining later. But look at that hull now. A nice blank slate. So that's it for this first installment. Really pleased. If you have any recommendations, if you're a boat guy, I'm getting the last bit of like tint, that yellowish orange tint off. Still there residing. I see some places say diluted vinegar, stuff like that. I don't know. So uh, if you have any any input, you know, a surefire way to, to eat that stuff off of there besides actually like sanding the gel coat and, and repolishing, let me know because I just, I don't like that there. <laughs> the haul came out great. Let me know if this is something you're interested in. I've wanted a boat for years now I've been combing for the right one and I have it and I have plans drawn up. I drew up plans three years ago what I want to do with this haul. And so it's a big deal. We have that engine we have to look at. Gonna have a look at that tomorrow. I'll do some filming, see what I can get, see what we can figure out. But thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here. We'll see you in the next video. It may or may not be a boat one. But again, let me know then in the comments if you'd like that. It's hot.